Okay, this is part of the Goodyear Airport. But this building is currently says for lease, so there's nobody in it. And if somebody interested in renting a building at the Goodyear Airport, so you can definitely come over here. Um, let me give you the, this is like 220 South Fitzfair Road. There's a for lease sign up there, so you can see it is for lease if anybody wants to lease this. But anyway, uh, most stuff over here is, you know, aviation related because this is a general aviation airport, you know, for light aircraft. They do um, fix up the, you know, the, the, the commercial airliners for uh, passenger, I mean, for uh, pa package service, like, you know, probably for Amazon, for FedEx, for UPS, that type of thing. But I saw this picture and um, there's some other stuff uh, north of here I'm going to also include in this, but I'm going to start, start start off right here. That's obviously a radial aircraft engine, you know, like a, you know, single engine uh, World War II fighter like uh, aircraft. And that's obviously what I don't know that's particular. You know, maybe like a P-51 or something like that. That's just a guess. I don't know, but it is a um, radial aircraft engine. I'm on a, it's an SR-50 picture. Of, it's a very nice picture of an SR-71. I'm going to make some more comments from there. Okay. I'm going to do a 360 of this uh, place real quick because there's some very nice cactus over there. The security guard just went around making sure I was behaving myself. He didn't really question me anything. I just, just look like... I just look like so much behaving myself and don't make trouble for anybody. I'll give you a 360 here so you can see some nice buildings over there. I have no idea what they do over there. More pictures of this uh, building here. Like I said, if you do need that building, it is for it is for lease. You can. I have no idea who you can contact. I think there's a phone number up there. Hang on. Let me get the phone number for you for if you're. Hang on. Let me walk it over there to get a clear picture that you can see the all the nice. Somebody's keeping that up, so somebody's somebody's doing a nice job of keeping all that up. Okay, you go. There's a company. It's 602 222 5000 If if you want to lease this building, I don't. And I, I have no idea what I do with it. But if you do, it's for lease. There's a nice shrubbery there, and there's a picture of this house. There's a, I think it's an RV uh, place for the uh, RV storage where you can store your RV. I saw these the other day and said, oh, these will make a real nice video. I want to walk around them so you can see what they are. Well, what the deal was, uh, I had the boat over here. There's another, it's an, you know, building, I think they stay just leased for a few days just to have the boat over here. But uh, you can see these are, uh, I, I'm guessing these are probably back in the 40s. I'm thinking it's a piece of equipment. It's a, the air conditioning compressors. This is, uh, you can see the big, there's two, there's two compressors. The motor right there in the middle. I'm going to go around. There's three of these sitting out here. There's a big manifold where these drop into these two big compressors. Um, you can see where the... Just looking at everything, it just looks like it dates back to the 40s. i tell you what this base was. This base, see it says Goodyear Aerospace there. This base back in the 40s was a Navy base. I'm guessing they just trained, it's you know 400 miles to the nearest water, to the nearest ocean. So I'm guessing they just trained people here. Probably, that's my guess. But it's in Worthington, see there's a, it's, like I said, this is dating back to the 40s, I believe. It's well built. And somebody just thought it would be just cool to, uh, rather than just, you know, tie these up for scrap metal, would be just to put them out here. You can see by that motor, let me just show you all the copper, you can see the, all the I don't think you can see it on, the, on my phone, but you can see all the the, the windings. I, I, I didn't count them, but I'm going to guess it probably, it doesn't turn very fast. I'm guessing the whole thing is made to go real, real slow, because a whole bunch of, I'm not sure if that was 60, 60 hertz or 25 hertz, because some of this stuff was 25 hertz if it goes back very far. But uh, um, it's got a slip ring. I think it's, 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 it's the magnet in the center is electric, so it, uh, it's uh, really wild looking. But let me go around here so you can see how this is built. There's one over here. Let me get you this one. We'll be on Sunday morning because I figured it wouldn't be too busy. I wouldn't be bumping into people. The crowd's got the compressor up on top of it. And, uh, I don't know if the motor, let's see how this is built. 
There's Ingersoll Rand. Different than that Worthington over there. Oh, there's the motor. It's a GE motor. See how that's... Looking by the amount of metal in there, I'm wondering if this wasn't a 25 hertz motor. Almost what it looks like. Maybe it may be older than uh, 1940s. It may be this base. I know it was here in the 40s, but it, it, it may be older than that. It just kind of looks like it dates back older than that. Okay. Okay, that's a nice picture of an SR71. If you don't know, that was what they know about Lockheed. Originally started original plans. They could make a bomber out of it. And they couldn't find any bombs that they could drop at Mach three that would uh, that would work. So they turned it to a spy plane. That's a story that I've heard, and it's probably true. Anyway, it's still a very very impressive uh, aircraft. Saw this here. I had the election, you know, the voting in one of these offices. I went over here. I had I driven. I live about half a mile from here. And I had no idea this was over here. I actually see it from Let's Real Road, it just now never bothered looking over here. Anyway, I'll just make a nice, uh, interesting video to post on YouTube here. There's a nice palm tree coming to the top of that sign there. Uh, almost a life-size image of that aircraft. Okay, I'm going to give you a 360 here if this uh, parking lot. Everything here is, air, is that compressor, that Worthington. Uh, there's several of those. i give you a 360 here. I've no idea what they do in these buildings here. There are people working here. I have no idea what type of it's all aircraft, uh, general aviation related, uh, as far as I know. Back there, SR 71 there. Okay, this is an old Worthington compressor. Just looking at it, I'm going to guess it dates back from maybe late 30s or somewhere in the early 40s. I'm not sure if, I, if that motor is 60, if it's 60 hertz or if it's 25 hertz because there's a lot of metal in there and it could be, it could be 25 hertz. There was some 25 cycle equipment around here and I'm wondering if that's what that is. I don't see any, anything identifying the, you know, the voltage or frequencies or anything on there. It's, it is quite old. I'll tell you what I think this is. This, this was an old Navy base. This is uh, converted to the Goodyear Airport. I'm thinking this dates back to the time that this was a Navy base in the 40s. Maybe a little bit earlier. Let me get some pictures of it here. You can see this took is a motor in the center. There's two gearboxes, and they, they spin these two compressors. They're big. Uh, the piston compressors, the multi-cylinder piston compressors. You can see where all the ribbon is. There's a suction line came in the center. There's a big manifold. I'm not sure what type of uh, if it was just regular air conditioning or for the piece of uh, low temperature equipment. Or quite what this was, but uh, you thought. Someone is, rather than scrapping these, someone has obviously found that these are worthy of uh, just sitting here and making like a museum out of them. And I find them kind of cool that somebody did that and I figured I'd just include these in a short video here of this. Let me go around here so you can kind of get what get an image of what's here. I don't know, not everybody would find this impressive, but I think it's a piece of uh, old technology that somebody's chose to save and make a little museum piece out of. I think it's kind of cool here. You can kind of get off of what's here. Quite a piece of machinery in its day. I'm going to go over and get the other side of this. This is the other side of this picture, this SS71 that I put you from the other side here. I think that's also quite impressive. I'll get you another view of it here. I think I'll do like Mach 3. Which is, uh, I think they sent one from um, the, like, oh, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco to um, the, to London in like about three hours. Well, I think we'll get up and move. I'll give you one last 360 from this parking lot. You can see they sent up a parabolic antenna over there. Maybe like missile tracking or something like that, because it, you know, it's not a real hot, not a real big band, not a real big dish. So I'm guessing it's, it's somewhere in the microwave range. I'd have to see what type of, uh, you know, I couldn't begin to guess a frequency, but it's, uh, fair, you know, fairly high up there. Anyway, let me give you a uh, 
for a small 360 that's parked and not see it kind of get what's over here. See the air conditioning's on top of the air units up there, or the roofs up there. There's some more palm trees over there. There's those compressors over there. If we go past my pickup here and see that other one. There's uh, various, various operations over here. I couldn't tell you what, you know, what any of they do. I know they're all aviation related because this is a, you know, aviation, uh, you know, light aircraft, you know, besides the aircraft that they uh, convert from uh, passenger to uh, package, uh, you know, for the different, uh, this different uh, operations on in here. Bye-bye.